Okay, I'm going to give you a demonstration of the PC landscape water calculator. To begin with, when you open up the tool, you will see a map of BC. To get to your property, you just need to click on the map to zoom in. There's also other options, which I'll show you later. I'm going to go to some location in Abbotsford. Um, if you zoom in far enough, you'll see a bunch of things start to pop up. And eventually, there's all the water licenses, and here's all the cadastres. So I'm just going to randomly pick a property. I can show the satellite image of the property by clicking on satellite. I can zoom in a little bit further. So you can see a, a good sort of plan of the property. This is about as far as it goes. It'll give you the address of the property on the right hand side here. It's located in Abbotsford, gives you the climate moisture deficit. I need to determine what the irrigated area of this property is. And I'm gonna make up a number. I'm gonna say it's 400 square meters. I need to say what's impervious in that. Right now it shows 100, 355. Let's say there's uh, other pervious areas. We'll make it 100. And that leaves 255 square meters of impervious. And then you'll notice that the annual budget is 124 cubic meters. And that's based on an area irrigated of 400 square meters. I can now go in and pick out, I can add up the six hydro zones and hydro zone is an area that is common like turf grass or a garden or shrubs. And I can add up the six hydro zones per four profile. I can do two profiles. I will only do one on this demonstration, but you can add up a second profile and compare. So let's start off with hydro zone number one being turf grass. We'll pick uh, a standard turf grass. It'll say it's a high density, high water use. Let's pick a full sun exposure. Now let's say the area is 300 square meters on a silty loam soil, irrigated with rotors, and it'll tell me what my water use is per year. It's 112 cubic meters. It also tells me that it's not consistent with the irrigated area because we still have another 100 square meters to irrigate. So I'm going to add another hydro zone. I got to pick a different crop. I'll pick shrubs. Let's say the density is moderate. Their water use is also moderate. Their sun exposure, say it's part sun, and we'll say that's 100 to fulfill the total requirement. And let's say we're using a drip system there. It'll say we need 13 cubic meters per year for that. And um, we fulfilled the full irrigated area. You can save a report which I'll do right here. And the report will pop up on the bottom left of your screen over here. You click on it, the report opens up and you have a report of your property, the address, your water budget, uh, and how much water you're using for each hydro zone. So, um, having said that, now we're going to go back and we're going to go and use the city of Kelowna as an example, because the city of Kelowna is a local government partner. And we can go to a property in the city of Kelowna by just typing in the address. And search, and it brings us right into the city of Kelowna. And so that's the other way to find a property. We'll zoom in on that property. And um, you'll see this additional information here. It'll say, um, select this property is not a park. If it was a park, you uh, would click on that because the city Kelowna has a restriction on turf grass to be 60% of the irrigated area. So obviously if you're a park, it's over 60%. So you'd have to click on this. Tells you you're in the city of Kelowna, which is a local government partner. Tells you what the water purveyor they are on in here. And so if you were in uh, Black Mountain Irrigation District or some other area, it would say that. Uh, it tells you the aquifer you're in. And then the rest of the tool is very similar. We have, let's say we are irrigating 400 square meters out of this 858 square meter property. Let's say there's 100 of naturalized area. And so there's 358 square meters of impervious area. Our annual water budget is 212 cubic meters. 
based on the area. And it's also based on um, a climate data. And I didn't show you that for the whole province, but I can show you here. If we click on this climate grid and I, you'll see this purple line show up over here like this. Those are climate grid cells. And those contain the data that's being used to calculate the annual budget. And the number will change as you go to different grid cells around the province. It covers the entire province. So therefore we get a fairly accurate number based on the climate for your area. The real advantage of being a partner is under not only the special information that you might want to add in restrictions, but also you can add information on water efficient plants. And now if you click on plants, you'll see we have quite a list here. And if we go to say shrubs for the city of Kelowna, there's a whole list of water efficient shrubs. And I'm just going to pick one. Uh, and then you have to fill out the rest of this tool. So you say, okay, I picked choke cherries. And you'll notice it only says full sun because choke cherries will only grow in full sun. They won't grow in um, part sun or shade. If I picked another one, beauty bush, and we looked at that, you'll see you come up with a full sun or part, part sun. They're able to grow in either climatic condition. So it gives you some guidance about where to plant these water efficient plants. We'll stick with the uh, beauty bush and we'll pick a part sun. We've got to make up an area and we'll say it's uh, 200 square meters. Soil type, you can also change. And I should point out, a local government can add in their own modified soil type to their area if they wish. They just have to give us parameters such as water holding capacity. And we can add in a special soil that a person can go in and pick on. You can see all the soils that are listed here now. Your soil, if you had, say, a qualicum soil, you wanted to call it that, you would get it added to the list. And a homeowner could use that in calculating their water use. In this case, we're using bushes. Let's say we're picking a micro spray to irrigate them, 37 cubic meters per year. We still have a, quite a bit of budget left. We have to add another hydro zone because we are not fully irrigating all the area that we said. So in this hydro zone, let's go to turf grass. Um, we'll pick an eco turf. Uh, the exposure we'll say is full sun. The area is, um, I think we have 200 square meters left. Just going to double check that. The area was 400, so now we have 200 and 200. Our irrigation systems are is a rotor. And our total annual water use is now 174 cubic meters compared to 212 that we were allowed. If that had exceeded it, it would have turned red and said you're exceeding your water budget. Same thing. Uh, now, the other advantages about a local government is that in the city of Kelowna, they have a landscape bylaw that you have to do an assessment on your landscape. And so whoever's doing the assessment, Kelowna wants to know who that contractor, that person is. So you can add in your property owner's name. You can add in the contracting company's name, the contractor, the phone number, email, and so on and so forth. And when you do that, all of that information will go into the report. Save our report and see what we got. Click on the report and you'll see we have more information. Uh, we have the profile. We have submission instructions from the city of Cologne about how to submit it. Uh, they have applicant information, who the contractor is, some other regulations checklists that they want for the city of Cologne water use. And you also, I think this happens province-wide too though, you also get a plan of the property that goes with the report. So it's very handy. It's very easy for the city of Kelowna to have this submitted to them as a assessment on the water, water uh, irrigation system on their property. So with that, gives you a general overview of the tool and how it can be used. And um, if you wish to contact the partnership about your own local government, you can certainly do that if you wanted to pursue becoming a partner with us.